to be honest, as a parent, those stereotypes, because they were fed to us in, in just mass quantities. And also with the medical profession, we've done a few interviews with like people from the medical profession that fess up to the fact that 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 conversation needs to be different because the information that's given to, to mothers about Down syndrome, what that does uh, to anybody who's expectant with a child who has Down syndrome, it one, what it does to their pregnancy and the things that get that just get planted in their mind that are not based in reality and are not true. They're not a correct depiction of the life and the journey that I've had with my son. So what ha- what happened was we fought those stereotypes. And I know, you know, sometimes people say stuff and you're just like, oh, the way it's said just definitely comes from maybe not the nicest place. But then a lot of times it comes from a place that it's just a stereotype that's in society that just gets propagated, right? It comes from somewhere. And so when you say, you know, that I know not to say that they're special or I know not to say this or that, I fought that for so long. And then one time I just, I, I was watching Liam and I'm like, I fought it so long that I almost denied how beautiful it is how beautiful that it's just presence. And it's not something that we, you, you can have it. You do have it, right? Cause of your uncle, your daughter has it when he loves, it comes from a true real place. It comes from a pure place that doesn't want anything that isn't concerned about anything else, but that love. And I love the way you just said that, because I think the reason that I fight that is because in saying any sort of like all kinds of thing, it makes people with Down syndrome other. This is their special unicorn thing that they have. And what you're saying is exactly why I fight that, which is you can have it too. You can have it too. 